Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will derive equation of Fourier series coefficient. In my last video, I have discussed about Fourier series. In this video, I will derive equation of Fourier series coefficient. See Fourier series, that equation is x of t is equals to summation where n is ranging from minus infinite to plus infinite a of n into e to the power j n omega naught t. Here a of n that describes magnitude of frequency component that is Fourier series coefficient. In this video, I will derive equation of a of n. To derive equation of a of n, first of all, let us multiply e to the power minus j k omega naught t at both of the sides. So here at this side and at this side, I will multiply e to the power minus j k omega naught t. So let me multiply this. You can observe over this side, I have multiplied e to the power minus j k omega naught t and over this side also, I have multiplied e to the power minus j k omega naught t. Now what I'll do is, I will simplify this side. See here we have e to the power j n omega naught t and e to the power minus j k omega naught t. So that is having power that one can add. So here we will be having e to the power j n minus k omega naught t. Right. Now to further simplify this, I will integrate both of the sides where I will consider limit of integration to be 0 to t. So let us integrate both of the sides where limit is there from 0 to t. So I am just going to integrate both of the sides. Right. Now if you observe this, here summation where n is ranging from minus infinite to infinite a of n. So that is independent of time t. Right. As it is independent of time t, you can take this summation outside of this integration. So let me take this summation that is outside of this integration. Right. Now we need to understand this integration. That is integration is having limit from 0 to t e to the power j n minus k omega naught t dt. And this is what one can understand based on Euler's equation. Let me explain how. See, as per Euler's formula, this equation that one can represent in terms of cosine and sine. Like e to the power j n minus k omega naught t, that one can write as per cos of n minus k omega naught t plus j sine of n minus k omega naught t. So that is what Euler's formula that we have. Now with this formula, we need to understand the value of this integration. See as if you have n is equals to k. If you have n is equals to k, then cos of 0 that will be 1 and sine of 0 that will be 0, right? And if you don't have n is equals to k, means if n is not equals to k, then sinusoidal integration that will be always 0. If you don't have n is equals to k, then integration of sine or cosine term over the duration from 0 to t, that will be always 0, right? So if you have n is equals to k, then cos of 0, that will be 1 and sine of 0, that will be 0. And for this integration, in total value will be capital T, right? And if n is not equals to k, then this integration that will be 0. So one can say in total this much integration that is having value capital T only, right? So this capital T that one can place it over here. So if you want value of a of n, right? Then here we just need to multiply t. So we will be having this term that is a n into t and this term that is integration from 0 to t x of t e to the power minus j n omega naught t dt. Now here you might be thinking like I have mentioned k and here I have mentioned n but see this is the condition that we have it for n is equals to k. Right. 
So this equation that we have it in form of n only, right? And see this t that one can take it on this side. So we'll be having a of n that is 1 by t integration with limit from 0 to t x t e to the power minus j n omega naught t dt. So using this equation, we can identify Fourier series coefficient that explains you magnitude of given frequency component, right? So this a of n that is very, very essential in solving examples. So I thought I should derive this equation and using this equation in future coming videos, I'll be solving many examples to identify magnitude of Fourier series coefficient. I hope you have enjoyed this. Still, if you have any confusion, just place that in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.